All right, we're going to talk a little bit about um, repack kits. Repack kits are, I'm going to show you what they usually come in, something like this. This is a repack kit for AK or SKS. And inside the repack kit, you're going to have a bandolier, which is this cloth thing. It goes over your shoulder. Um, this particular one has four cardboard boxes right here and eight stripper clips. These are stripper clips for 7.62 by 39. Now be careful if you buy a repack kit that you buy them for either an AK if you have an AK or SKS or if you have an AR that it's a different magazine of course that you get them for AR. I'm all out of the ARs and this price is probably old. This is eight bucks. I want to say they're like ten bucks for the AR kit, eight bucks for the uh, AK. Um, also sometimes they'll come with a spoon. This is called a spoon and what this does is allow you to feed the stripper clips onto the magazine and the they will not be the same, they will not fit, or the AR one will not fit the AK. And you can see this is the AR, this is the AK, that they are completely different looking beasts here. This allows the stripper clip to go on, and then you simply push down, being very careful not to cut yourself on the stripper clip, but it will take your hand off. Um, now, you may say, what is all this stuff for? Well, especially uh, in Vietnam, these would be carried in these bandoliers over the shoulder, sometimes 8, 10, 20 of them. And inside of these would be a kit like this with the rounds so that you could speed load into your magazine Okay. and each one holds 10 and so like a 30 round mag you take three of the stripper clips and you fill up your magazine very quickly a lot quicker than individually putting them in now there are newer devices which I will show in just a minute that allow you to feed one at a time but it's very quickly you don't have to push down um, they're called Lula's and they're made by an Israeli company um, there's one called the Up Lula that does pistol magazines and it does a variety of uh, sock calibers. It will do, um, it's for double stack, not single stack, but it'll do 9mm, 40 caliber, 45, pretty much, it's called a universal. And it'll do pretty much all of them. Um, they do have a, a different one for 22s, but generally 22s. Well, a lot of magazines are only 10, so it's not that hard. And Ruger even has a little thumb thing to pull down the spring. Um, but that's kind of a modern way of reloading that's very quick. And um, these uh, Up Lulas, they, they have several different, they have an Up Lula, or excuse me, a Lula for the uh, rifle magazines. They are specific, they're not universal because the magazines are so different. So the AK Up Lula, is completely different than the AR slash M16 up Lula. But leave it to the Israelis to figure out a piece of plastic that saves your thumbs and makes it extremely quick to load the magazines. Uh, so basically, um, I'm going to show you how easy it is. I'm going to do the AK one. This is, uh, I've got already one, two, three, four, five, six, seven bullets onto this one. But Basically, this is a little different than the uh, AR, but basically on this you just push down a little spring and the back of the bullet slides onto the stripper clip. Of course, I have a hard time doing it and showing the camera too. But this is how it works. Okay, And then you slide it all the way down the position. And what you do is once you get eight, I 
haven't done the a I've usually done the AR, so bear with me why this is the first time I'm doing the AKs. I bought these kits actually a couple of years ago and I've just never gotten around to doing it. So I figured I'd do a YouTube and show you how this works. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Actually that holds eleven. You probably could take one out. Um, just to make it even and not confuse things and the stripper clips for the AR are different not only the different size of course but the end of the stripper clip actually has a tab on it a metal tab that when you're finished loading it this metal tab is pushed down to hold the bullets in place whereas the AKs do not have a tab on the end, but they're spring-loaded, and the spring holds them in place. It actually holds them in place pretty good. But once you get these, you're going to put them opposite directions. This looks like it only holds two. But you're going to pull opposite directions, and we'll do another one. And then two, it looks like two will go into this cardboard, whereas usually with the ARs, it's three and they're staggered, they're put in opposite direction. Um, and that's to save space. And then once you get the cardboard filled with two of these for the AK, then you're going to put it into this. In this particular pocket, this is a four pocket. They make them a four pocket. What are you doing? And then they make uh, one, two, three, four, five, so seven pocket. The X miles being crazy. Uh, that's why they call them X miles. For people that aren't familiar with that terminology, it's amateur radio term, and it, it's for Y L, but X mile, X. Alright, so we're almost to 10 of these. And then you'll see that. And then this is going the opposite way. Okay, can you see that? And then this will go into the bandolier like this. And this will go over the top so it doesn't fall out when you carry it. And you do this with the four and then you're ready for very quick loading of your magazine all right and i'll splice together i'll show you the quick loader from up uh, from lula in just a second all right so here is the filled mk bandolier with four packs which is one of the repack kits um, again they make them in seven, usually the uh, ARs, but um, the four pack, there is 20 per pouch, two, four, six, eight, 80. A little bit off because most magazines hold 30. Um, I think in the Vietnam era, there were mostly 20 round magazines. Um, of course now, for the time being, 30 rounds are legal. And as I promised, um, I'm going to show you, this is called a Lula. And this one's specific for the AR or M16. If you notice on an AR magazine, there's a little notch there. And on this particular Lula, there's a clip there, and it goes... You hear it click right into that spot, okay? Um, these are made in Israel, as I said, but these are pretty cool because this little loop right here, you can tie it on to your range bag or um, put it on a lanyard or something so you don't lose it. Um, of course, I don't have, uh, let's see, hang on a second. I do have a whole box of 223s. And the way this works is, 
save you lots of time. It's basically flip it one way and drop, drop the bullet in, flip it back the other way and drop it in, flip it the other way, drop it in, flip it the other way, drop it in. So you see, you don't have to ruin your fingers. And then once you get to 30, this pops right off and you're done. So kind of a modern take on the stripper clips. Um, really, really nifty little thing. And I'll do a different video. This is the Uplula, which is a universal for um, pistol magazines. And um, it really works good. It's got a little locking mechanism so you can keep it compact. Again, a little hook on here so you can put it to uh, a lanyard or, or whatever. And I have to say, I mean, I love the M16 one, but these are specific, like I said, per, per magazine, per gun. But this one you can use in almost any double stack magazine, 40 caliber, 357 SIG, um, and it's just, it's really great. You basically put it down on the, um, on a surface, and I'll go ahead and show you. I just took two out. Um, you push, just put it the right way. Push down, okay? So you hold it down onto the thing, and then it drops right in, kind of like the other. When you let this go, it pulls the metal thing out. You go on top of it, push in, push down, and it gives you another spot for that. Undo, and it, it's amazing. You can load a 17, 19 round magazine in no time. And none of this pushing with your fingers, and especially you know, the last two, three rounds are so hard to get in. No problem with this. It is amazing how, how wonderful this tool is. If you go to the range, even if you go twice a year, this 30 something dollar investment is the best $30 you'll, you'll spend. It'll save your thumbs, make it so much faster and easier to load your magazines. And um, again, I'll do another video just on this, but I, I had to show it while I was out doing this, uh, doing this stuff. So again, once you get the ammo in the uh, bandoliers, then you've got, um, this fits on top, the, the uh, stripper clip slides on here and you push the bullets down, push the spring down and the stripper clip goes there and you've got your magazine loaded. Any questions or comments, just put them below.